The views and opinions expressed by the host do not necessarily state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the views and opinions of the guests do not reflect those of the host, the show, the management, and the network. You expired, O Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, 
and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Mayong hapon sa inyong tanan, labi na sa mga subuanon. Uh, nga nung nagbisaya ako because our guest is from Cebu. And good afternoon to all our devotees, our followers, our audience this afternoon. Welcome once again to At The Hour. Of, the, of course, with me. Hindi pwedeng mawala. Miss Joji Lagandia. Good afternoon, mayong hapon sa inyong tanan at the hour of three na po. Bia, Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday of August, August 11. Kamusta man mo diha mga taga Cebu o ang mga daghan ng Bisaya nga naminaw sa amo karong hapon. No, we have a very uh, beautiful guest this afternoon. Uh, so pretty guest from the Divine Mercy Philippines Archdiocese of Cebu. So welcome again to another at the R of three. It will be an hour of uh, stories of faith of blessings, of love, and of course, uh, of our Lord's uh, mercy. Yes, Jean, no? um, every week we have been progressing to kung saan saan na lang tayo, wherever God would lead us every week. No, We have been to Davao, to, to Manila, to Cebu, we went to America. I don't know where God will bring us next week, but for today, He's going to bring us to a beautiful place where I came from. The, uh, the province or the city of Cebu, of course. You know? But before that, you know, last week was really quite a revelation. Mm -hmm. Revelation in the sense that it really kept me um, pondering about the greatness of what we have accepted. Not just us, no, but uh, all those who, who, who surrendered our lives into this devotion and into propagating this devotion. I never realized the immensity. I never realized the importance of saying yes now at this time. So uh, maybe you can give us a glimpse of your own thoughts on what Father Cross was sharing to us last week. Last Wednesday, we have, uh, yeah, last Wednesday, no, we, had, uh, we have really a very important guest because he is the Secretary General of WACOM Asia, World Apostolic Congress of Mercy, and of course, our head, our National Coordinator for the Divine Mercy Philippines. So he's like our, we get our directions from him. And last mm -hmm. Wednesday was, was really a faith-filled hour, in fact, more than 60 minutes, no? Where... Yeah. Uh, Father, uh, Reverend Father Tenorio really articulated on what is the devotion of the Divine Mercy. But more importantly, no, what, what really touched many of us, including our, our listeners, is his message that uh, being a devotee is not only propagating the Divine Mercy, but being a devotee, number one, is a way of life. So we should live it every minute, every second of our life. And number two is as a devotee, we proclaim the mercy of God. So I was just thinking this morning, I know yung proclamation because many of us, even our own members, even our guests uh, later on would also confirm and affirm. Many of our divine mercy devotees would simply say it's COVID. So we cannot go out of our homes. We cannot anymore propagate. We cannot anymore mm -hmm. proclaim. But you know, proclaim, proclamation of the divine mercy as what Reverend Father Tenorio had taught us, does not mean you go out of your house. It, you can proclaim the mercy of God. You can propagate the mercy of God 
even in our own very homes we make use of technology uh we we share no one 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 mode of uh proclaiming also on spreading the propagation is when you share this program at the R of three because it is our, yes. our objective really with Ida and of course the Archdiocese of Davao no uh, Divine Mercy Apostolic was really to to bring more souls through through this program since many does not many in many cannot go out but even more than that it's it, it we want to be connected to everyone not just in the Philippines but all over the world but going back to Father Denorio so Father Tenorio said, um, as devotees, uh, we need to have a metanoia of the heart, which I asked him, what is metanoia? Change of heart. And in mm -hmm. fact, he said, Our heart, heart, no, the heart. Heart stands for H is hatred, E is enviousness, A is animosity, R is uh, like uh, uh, rudeness, and then uh, T is uh, tepidity. Tepidity means lukewarm. Lukewarm souls. That's what Saint Faustina was saying. Lukewarm souls. In fact, that is like the sixth or seventh day of our novena. We pray for the lukewarm souls. So mm -hmm. to be devotees of the divine mercy, we need to remove all of this from our heart. You know, the hate. They are very. They are. You know, if you look at it, either they are very normal human <laughs> character, like hatred, enviousness, animosity, uh, being rude, uh, tepidity, or they, they are normal human character. So as devotees of divine mercy, we need to really fight it hard. You know, you, it's, I know it's not easy to erase it from our hearts because it's a, Aida and me, you know, we, we're humans, you and I are humans, no? It needs a very high level of spirituality to be able to, to live up to that kind of metanoia. But when we are in the grace of God's mercy, nothing is impossible. So that's why I told Father, we have a benchmark, like we have a target, no? We have a benchmark, this is what we should be, and this is what we should all become. So in our daily life, every second, every minute of our life, we need also to remember that being devotees of the divine mercy means also uh, exercising works of mercy in our life. So as Father said, works of mercy can be spiritual, can be corporal. Again, many would say, I cannot do corporal works of mercy because corporal means uh, you you need to you feed the hungry, you know, feed the hungry, you donate to, to those, you feed the hungry, you clothe the naked, et cetera, et cetera. But we can do the spiritual works of mercy. We can, when we pray for the dead, we pray for our neighbors, we pray for people who get sick. Uh, we pray for a happy death. We pray for petitions of a successful examination or of a successful business or of a successful transaction. We are doing works of mercy. So as devotees, as Father said, we are a reflection of the cross like this. No, You have the up, the, 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 the way up, which is the works of mercy, and uh, and the, the 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 one the one that looks like ano ba to? horizontal no yeah horizontal it are the elements of the devotion which i will share later on no the ele the nine elements of the devotion as devotees of the divine mercy we should live in that we should live no anchor our faith on the elements and then translate these elements into actions. That's what that's what uh, we got from Father. These actions actually are our works of mercy. And then transform it into our own spirituality. Spirituality, spirituality either is a work in progress. No, you cannot say today I am fully spiritual. It's a work in progress. Every day, of course, we reach higher and higher level of spirituality. And every day, we also get challenges and problems. So this is when uh, the our spirituality is also being strengthened and put into test. So thank you, Reverend Father uh, Tenorio, for sharing that with us. And I know a lot of people, even me, myself, has been playing that over and over again. And then, yung mga tamad na divine mercy, huh? you know what they texted me? Can you send us your notes so that we can have notes? <laughs> of course, I will send that to you. Bawal mga opya, no? 
Mahal na kopya po, of course, I will send that to you. So that they can be guided now when they listen. Of course, I will send that to you. Tama ka, it's bawal na kopya. But because, but because I will do works of mercy, I will share it to you. I probably have shared my notes already to many because they want to just appear and confirm my notes versus what Father Tenorio has been sharing. And that... The sharing of Father Tenorio, I'm sure, would be one of the most important archive we will have in our the yeah. hour. Yeah. These things that um, even me, you know, because I'm always backstage when the guest comes in. Um, when I was hearing it on backstage, I knew that it was not an easy thing. Now, I mean, I've been with the Divine Mercy for quite some long. It's really going to be daily. I will not even say progress, but supposed to be progress, but it's daily, you know? And when... When we read through Sister Faustina's diary, just like what Georgie shared to me, it's, I think diary 148, no? Sister Faustina had her own struggles also in the daily life, no? When she was in the infirmary, which is the hospital or the clinic, she was not even given a preferential attention, no? She cannot read because she has no light. The other sister has visitors, she has none. So she was never spared by Jesus of the daily struggle of our life, but because of her connection with Christ, because of her deep spirituality, somehow she was just filled with the presence of Christ. Without the light, the light of Jesus came to her every night. So again, it's not easy, no? It's a progressive thing. It's a daily thing. So don't worry. Um, you might say na buti pa kayo. No, 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 please don't misunderstand. Daily we have our own struggles and daily we just kneel before the Lord in the morning and say, Lord, sorry, I just forgot to say my prayer. Or sorry, I, I promised to be with you at 3 a.m. but I fell asleep. All those reasons and everything and never ending thing. No, But again, let's go in progress. We have a big, big mission and big shoes to fill after our elders. Now it's our time. So now we are going to embark G, into the mission of our guest, a huge mission before her. But before that, let us play the video, Mark, to initiate who she is. Mark, the video. Okay, G, I think I'll give you the honor to bring in our guest. So you saw that uh, that that the, you saw the video, no, of a, a shrine in the Visayas area. So I would like to uh, introduce to you our next guest. She is uh, she's a very happy, beautiful person. No? One of the most beautiful person I have met in the Divine Mercy Philippines. She is the lay coordinator of Divine Mercy uh, Philippines Archdiocese of Cebu. She is a very, very busy lady, a lot busier than me. You know, under her is 174 parishes in the Archdiocese of Cebu. My God, I, I in Davao, I only handle like 30 over uh, parishes in our Archdiocese of Davao, but Cebu is a much bigger Archdiocese. So we will, I will, I will ask her to introduce herself later. So I would like to welcome 
to the at the hour of three, our sister in the divine mercy, Sister Ima Alfon. May hapon, Ima. May hapon, Sister Georgie and Sister Aida. How pretty, <laughs> and, how pretty and what she's always very happy and I always thank Ima that God uh, directed me to her because she has been a leader of the Divine Mercy in Cebu for quite a time. And she has been guiding me in so many ways. So Sister Ima, my hapon. Sister Ima, uh, bagok ka, oh, English lang na ako, M kay. Sister Ima, can you introduce oh. yourself to us before, before you became a devotee of the Divine Mercy? Well, I'm Ima Berdin Alfon, uh, born in this on December 8, 1962. So, mao siguro ni nga gitawag ta sa Ginoo kay feast day man ni Mama Mary ang ato pag yung patron saint sa Philippines. So, akong mama was a public teacher. My father is a seaman. So, uh, and the, we are four in the family na uh, usa duha mi kababay ug duha ka uh, lalaki then uh giraise gave me as a devout catholic nya living in the barrio ba in sidjoji in mactan island uh, babag dos lapu-lapu city kanang remote ni siya sa una pero karon nya kuan na ni siya develop na ni siya karon no so i grow up there nya uh, attend my elementary education in a public school kay public school lagi akong mama gi train gyud me nga you have to be dili gyud na iya to kay ang ang that time is St. Alfonso's Catholic School so diha pa ko ni graduate aning pag graduate pa diha na sa St. Alfonso's that time si ray usa nga eskwelahan didto so run by St. Paul's Scholastica nga nan so dito na develop gyud na ang ato ang uh, devotion ana tanan kay duol man sa simbahan nya kay baba ka sa una no ipsot na to mo member ta og sa, sa sa simbahan di ba it is very true kay para pasuruyon ta <laughs> kay di man ta kasuroy sa una so then ang calling siguro na ana i attended uh, mo mo kuan ko kay wala pa may BEC sa una so i nag COMers ko at 12 years old uh, treasurer ko for hantod na minyo ko na treasurer <laughs> then uh, i graduated my college in university of san jose ricoletos taking uh, accountancy so mao na karon so ako i got married at the age 23 after my graduation i was blessed uh, i am blessed i not was but well, with a very supportive and generous husband <laughs> and i have four kids uh, uh they are all grown up mauna kids lang hapon sister jojino bisan grown up na uh, my eldest is 34 years old uh, she is in sydney lockdown karon uh, uh lalaki ni siya then i have my second uh, my first daughter na asa Perth, Australia, si Alay na highlight, but naanami unta apo, wala gin mi kahold sa mung apo kay na 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 kuan man sa COVID. <laughs> so I have my two uh, children here with me sa sa Cebu, si si Ayin o si Ace. So mauni sila ang the apple of the eye. So there is a mga mamagunat sa imong ingon Sir Jujiga ang atong mga anak maugid ang ato ang kwan pamilya first so mao na siya ang akong background as as i'm a simple housewife and a volunteer fully volunteered <laughs> unya ingon sa akong mga kauban unsay imong achievement ko unsay imong gibaligya in ko i'm feeling jesus the divine mercy it's a way of life git talaga <laughs> ima yeah, you know, Ima, my mother, my mother, my mom. No? You have met my yeah. mom, no? Tita Inda oh. Ilana, Tawag. She was, yeah. she was a housewife. She was a housewife. God works in strange ways. Ima, can you tell me, I know you grew up in a Catholic family. 
came from a Catholic school, have a mm -hmm. wonderful family. When did you meet, no? When did you first meet the Divine Mercy? And how come you fell in love with the Divine Mercy? Uh, ako na, na, na meet ang Divine Mercy devotion when I was in college, no? Uh, age 17. Na, um, kini, we, ha, we are from Mactan Island. So, kung naami sa Cebu, so, dako na kayo na namong opportunity nga among ingnon nga we go to Santo Rosario nga ningon sila nga uh, uh, Sunday after Easter Sunday is uh, uh, na, wala pa kay noon ang Divine Mercy the time Sister Juji mingon lang sale sa langit tana mga adto ta it is a big sale after kuan nya musuksok kid mi sa confession kay without knowing the devotion nya when we go to, uh, pag minyo na nako, dito mi sa Tacloban City, na asahin akong husband dito, uh, a woman handed me the, uh, uh, kanang kuha, novena. Then, insert, ang ingon siya nga, dahi, pag novena, you have to novena, the divine mercy. Labi na, uh, start the novena, Friday, good Friday, kung sa din novena. Nindut kay ni nga novena. It's a very kuan uh, nga novena for the sick and the dying. Nya nga ko hinumduman na to ang ako ang father-in-law is bedridden ba? Iko nga ba? May na lang ni kay maka kuanta. So mag-atang lang yung ko sa 3 o'clock in the TV o na radio. Labi na in takluban. Waray ba? Dili ka kahibaw. Then na sign sa bakulod. The, ma, nana akong husband so dito na sad another kanang kuha na sad stampita ningon chocolate of the divine mercy so wajo ko magdahong nga sila ko na nan nan aw ni ang taga bakulod sister virgil loco sila day to kay mga bata ko man that time but kuan kanang say this kanang chocolate so wala lang ko say the chocolate and the novena when we go home 1992 here in cebu i was invited no diha sa sa St. Jerome, so balakad ito na sa Inday dito, a group of dabaw ng mga devotees. So, imo to mami, St. G, wa may kahibaw eh. Father Lucas, who is uh, the spiritual director siya, huy dali mo, kay natay bisita from dabaw, ang buto yung unsa ni ilang gidala. So, Father Lucas, at wala siya siya kahibaw, kung unsa ang devotion sa Divine Mercy. Then 1997, Father Lucas was appointed. Yeah, imong mami, diri na sa sila. Daghan kay mga bulk nga, nga kuhan, nga nang, unsa ni, kay Muatten sa kang Stanley Villa Vicencio, nga, nga, kato, kay hinumdong ka. Sila is the one supporting with Nevis and all that one. Ako ad to, dili pa ko leader, din ha, ako ko, register lang ko kay, kanang walk and kuhan man ko, kay gagmay pang mga bata ing ko magpakita lang ko niya imo your mommy will always give us the materials oh dai ang materials kuha ah, sa LBC then ihatod dito sa sa Floremont which is kanang the hotel of kanang doktora Flores so ikaron mura na kag nagko sa history so that the vow no mabito to nga ning kula ang dabaw ning gi invite ko sa dabaw nga this is where the mat you are the your mom and the rest of the katong mga devotee, they, ha, they are the ones supplying all the materials. Amo na guto ipanghatag. Huwag yung ikaibaw sa what is the devotion is. Then, year 2000, uh, sa Stockbridge, si uh, Dr. Brian Thatcher, uh, si Lee Bowers, and kaning usa nila nga, si Stockpole, came here in Cebu through the invitation of Monsignor Chris Garcia. Unya, wadyo mi kaibaw, unsa yung mong buhato na niya, yung Monsignor Chris, dahi, kanang, kam, kamu amu ang gitahasan ani, distributor ko, register lang ko, um, si, eh, ko registration lang ko, monsi, bahala na na din ha, kay, mo, mo si ba, lagi ka dayon ko, kung mahuma ng registration, mo si ba na ko. Then, Brian, uh, Dr. Brian Thatcher, is the propagator of Eucharistic Apostles of Divine Mercy. In fact, naingon siya, the, uh, he is sending every two years mga materials or 
an kanang kanang medical no medical mission in the Philippines which is in Davao in Digos no so diha diha kon dili ako kay kuan kon kidsa ang taga Digos basa kuan ni sila kupol ni sila i meet them and ang, ang ilang chill, ang ilang san kuan sa insular manager sa una so nakalimot lang gyud ko kadang sangan so diha to ni start we started the divine mercy devotion and through the Eucharistic Apostles of Divine Mercy. So, di ha, Sir Juji nga, murag na defend ang ato ang faith, kuwan ba nga, kinahanglan man isabwag, niya, mga gusto man to imong giingon ganina, proclaim the mercy is the greatest of God of all the works of my hands are crowned of mercy. Mauna sa Diary 301. So, ngayon di ko nga, wala kinahanglan man. Then, come ang welcome World Apostolic Congress on Mercy. So, dito sa kanang sa onsani, dito sa room. That's the first. Na Saint Benedict, oh, si Pope Benedict the Sixteen found out nga nagkakios bitaw ang Divine Mercy as maunang giingon sa sa kuan sa una sa Asian Apostolic Congress. Pag atin na to dito sa Manila, nakatin ta Sister Juji, the first Asian Apostolic Congress of Mercy. Wako kahibaw ko nun sa ang akong gita, ga, giatin na 2009. Wako kahibaw, upatra mi sa Cebu. And at that time, uh, sila si Nevis, liya sa Dabaw, ang, ang tagabakulo, nangita na, ngano ka mura mang upat? Where's your spiritual director ko? Ang boot lang, man mi kahibaw, kaingo man si Monsignor Chris, look at mong tikit kay one a time, at two mo ani. So, when, ah, pila may istorya, no? When we came there, wala gin may kalibutan. Ang sabi mo, sa day ni? Then, the first day, kahit tulungan na siya kaadlaw, the first day, at two na sa Our Lady of Immaculate sa Cathedral dito sa Kanang Manila. And there, I hear, kanang kung your intimacy with the Lord and you put all the, your readings to the Divine Mercy, kanang kan Faustina nga diary, murag ma-internalize ninyo ang imong system, murag ang ginoon na jud ang nagkuha ninyo. Perti na kong hila kay when I received the Holy Communion, ingon man siya, thank you for coming. Huwag ko kayo ba, murag kong naglutaw o naghilak, jud kumayo ko, Lord, on sa day ni akong gikam, why, why, ay, and that is the beginning di ay, nga mahimu kang leader niya, huwag yung kalibutan. <laughs> So, you know, uh, Ima, your story, your story ba, ang imong istorya, pinangga git ka, kaayo sa just nung kaluoy, the Lord really loves you so much. Because, you know, if you look at it, He has been following you all throughout. Since you were small, that you got the stampita, you were going to Santo Rosario, in Tacloban, in Bacolod, uh, in Wacom in 2019, no? At kano sa itong Wacom 20. Uh, uh, ang, ang, ang AACOM, Asian Apostolic Congress, first Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy din sa Philippines. Na, was in in, in, in Kuan, in, in Manila, niya, diha ang, ang venue ato, tulog ka adlaw. With, at ang awa nimo, kaawa nimo Ames ba, Ima? The Lord has really been following you all throughout. He really has a mission for you. Gisundan din ka niya, wak ka niya pasagdi. Sige ko siyang sunod, sunod, sunod si Imo. O niya, naka, if everyone uh, li listen to Imo, what really caught me was that manimba sila, they would go to the church, uh, Divine Mercy Feast, tungod sale sa langit. It's a sale. It's a, it's like uh, God's mercy is open, Sir Imo, di ba? Everyone who comes to him and uh, uh, goes to confession, and is truly sorry for them, truly sorry for our sins, your sin will really be forgiven. I like that. Sales, I like <laughs> I like that sales heaven. Sister mm -hmm. Ima, so, kuan, na, na journey ka nung imong story, hantud sa wakom, where you uh, had, of course, you heard about the intimacy of the Lord in the diary, and that when you were, uh, Having Holy Communion, you heard the voice of you. You heard a prodding of the Holy Spirit saying, "Thank you, uh, Ima, for answering my call." Is there something uh, dramatic in your life? Na nahitabo 
nga made you be a, made you accept the leadership of the divine mercy in Cebu. Made you the lay coordinator. It's not easy. The lay, it's not easy to be a lay coordinator because it it needs a hundred percent over of your time and complete abandonment and surrender to the Lord. Was there anything that you can remember that really, you know, uh, because some people, some people, Emma, are saying because my family was sick, someone was sick, something happened, something dramatic happened, so I became a devotee. But in your story, everything went so peacefully until you became a Arts Diocese Coordinator. So, Nani Nina Itabu Sturgeonji, when we went to Paco, the second Pakom, first Pakom in Lipa, then a second Pakom there in um, sa El Salvador, no? El Salvador, Cagayan. Mm -hmm. So, diha to, pero before Anna, nakanhan ako sa El Salvador 2008, na uh, the dedication of the tallest statue at the mm -hmm. time, ang Divine Mercy, uh, they had me invite me that September 7, 1998. So, nag uwan jud na, uwan maayo, sige uwan. Then, ingon mi, unsaw na to wala may trans, means of transportation that time, kay dili pa ba develop niya, wala pa. So, ang among gibuhat ni state me, kay they say, Mama Mary where will arrive from Mactan. Airbus, there is a uh, Cebu, I carry it on si Mama Mary, the Mama Mary of Fatima, the pilgrim I, Mama Mary. So, wala maabot. So, start na lang ang misa. Look, buwan siya kayo. Pertig yung batias panahon. Ato, why, niya, di harag yun mo silong kung nakaanto ka sa katong kanang wala yun na nila giguba gali ang kanang uh, nipahat. Dito harag yun ang, ang tanan nga ko. Then that's the first time na ningon jud ko nga we have to make like this in Cebu. And then sila kambisyusa ni moy ko dili pero that's the time member lang jud ko ikod di ko rin ko di maghimo ta ani ingon siya. Then the Lord kaning sa during communion after some mass the open bitaw na ang daghan nakakita to daghan ang hilak. That's the first time I saw the dancing sun. Hindi man kanon kanang the dancing sun ni twil gina maayo ni anak jud niya that's 4 o'clock in the afternoon na niya didto pa jud sa side nga dili sa rising kay kami gin side man niya didto ko ko then the real presence of Jesus is the divine mercy ma umang na sa eucharistic apostles of the divine mercy nga profess the real presence of Jesus of the uh, sa holy eucharist that time ba kay Ang mga tao, sige na lang anak, ka na bitong communion of the hand. Nga karun, di balik man na nato kay pandemic. Di man dyan ako makuptan ang host. That's the miracle. Ang host is gold. In ko, Lord, nano di man ka, mag, di man dyan ka makuptan. I anak ni mo, daganda, ganyan. Di man dyan mahagbong. In ko, Lord, ang saan man day ka. In day siya, communion by hand. Di li ka nun niya gialaw. So, sa diri sa imong kasing-kasing, akong gi ana so, by mouth, ingon ko, but by that time, mauto ang, ako ngayon ko, hala, pa, kung anong taniya, the real presence of, sa, when, ang iyang gingon, the image of the divine mercy is the vessel kung mauna, tanan na ang sakramento, na kibaw naman ta, ang race, ang white, unsa na siya, Eucharist, niya, ang, ang confession, so, mauna, trust, trust in my mercy. So, dito, mauna ito'y sinugdanan. Then, in Pakong, 2000, uh, uh, sani, May 2012, with Father Lucas, nakakita mag yung mga pari o Grand Sing San. Mingo man sila, kita din mo, ingon mi ba? Kanang ka na makibaw, bitaw ka nga, di bitaw. Ingon na siya, dito na, mo na tiningon siya, maghimuta ni, huy, maghimuta ni sa Cebu. Then, ang inspiration karon maon ni siya. Uh, nga nung naghimog yun, the missing link, di ba? Luzon, Visayas, Minanao. Ang Luzon na ana, dito sa Marilao, with Father Frost. So, nakaato sa may ana dito, no? Then, the, the foot ba, naa sa Mindanao. 
na ano, where is the heart? No? Di ba, nisigot man si Father Frost, naminaw man ko ninyo, at tungkol, heart, where is the heart? The heart is in Cebu, nga wala pa d'yo na mo ma, ma, makuan. Hindot kito among presentation, yung presentation ganina. But then, Palafox came. Palafox, wala gyo ka nang, ka nang kuha na sa ginuo ba nga si uh, architect Palafox. Maudyo ni nga rin sa Cebu, umi offer sa iyahang kayo. Ang amo desire, par, nindot lang unta. So, nakadto man ka dito, Sir Jujino, nga pasalamatun gali mi kaayo kay you sa tagadabaw you the one responded the call of giving us hope no kay ngano man to ib simon which is the the kuan sa akong husband the cousin of my husband the first cousin of my husband brought you there in in garing consolation unya wa mi magdahumba nga Muhatag ka, tanawa ka ron ang gireview ay kuasa dito si Indropuso Diri. So, ang kanya mga egsuon inyo ha, Juning, kuanon nga, kamong tagadabaws, you are so blessed. Kay na ay heart nga nakikuan ni, share yun ba? Nga ang kuan ni Sister Joji through Mami Inday na in dedication sa uh, station number three. O, ama to kung gano'ng gano'ng mo, gano'ng na, Sir Joji, station number 13, no? Ang kadang 3-3 ba? Holy Trinity, o, kung rin, no? So, ningon siya kung, ala, so, we are so blessed na kamu, nitabang mo, and the, and the preparation, ang among yun, di kuha nang din hinga, sa ginoo yun, di work, no? Ang divine mercy. Kay tungod, ang yuta, wala na tang ipalit. Kung ato nga nang palit to, ang yuta din na, karon it's worth mga 60 million through uh, ni ni Abilino Gungo senior the former mayor nga wala gyud siya nang duha-duha pag abot nga mong dito ni ingon gyud siya unsa man mo yung mo palit mi palit mi o palit ha ni ingon de siya palit mo o ganang oh pilaman 2.5 hectares ni ingon de siya pila inyong kwarta 100,000 <laughs> 100,000 and the 100,000 came from a cancer patient nga na, during sa operation niya niya gi close the, and the name also is Inday <laughs> dela ko na kay bao sa iya hang name nin Inday gi apo niya nga ning ni siya i will give you the 100,000 kay during my operation i saw the lord and said give it to father lucas in the 100,000 and build me a chapel so Chapel lagi tu ang amu ang huna huna, then mu manguan mi ubyuta mu 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 palit mi sa yuta without the money pay when able. So diha yud ang sugod ang tanan. And Father Lucas ino told us we shall have mass every first Tuesday of the month. So hantu nak karon nag first Tuesday ta. So <laughs> what a beautiful story, uh, Sister Ima, sa mga nagpapaminaw sa ato. Matong story nila sa story nato sa Shrine of the Divine Mercy nga naa sa Garing Consolation Cebu and the inspiration uh, behind it. But going back sa kinabuhi, sa life ni uh, Sister Ima, we can really see no, the Divine Mercy's hands working in her life. I always believe that when you are called by the divine mercy, he has chosen you from among the many because he he knows that there is something in, in you, whether it be character, there is something in you that could uh, help proclaim and propagate his mercy. And for Sister Ima, you could just look at her life. I would not call that Sister Ima that you're a simple housewife. Probably, yes, a simple housewife in the ordinary sense of the word. But you are a very special, special housewife. In fact, you are the one keeping the house of the Lord in Cebu, and taking care of all the other houses of the Lord, Sister Ima, like me here in 
<laughs> here is Davao. I'm very happy that you have kept the memory of my mother alive, no? that you have remembered that she was the one who started the Divine Mercy in Cebu and in other places, and that she is living inside you, no? because you, you really remember her. So going back to the life of uh, of Ima, no? nothing is impossible, right? Sister Ima, nothing is impossible. If the Lord really chose you, each and every one of us in the apostolates, not only Ima, not only me or I, David, each and every one of us, we all have a role. And talking about the dancing sun, Sister Ima, all of the devotees, if you are a devotee of the Divine Mercy, you are gifted with the opportunity no, to see really and to experience the dancing sun. We saw that in uh, Waku while we were in Bataan, yeah. I think, no? Yeah. And yeah. then uh, every, time we, every time we celebrate the Feast of the Divine Mercy after the Mass, I have heard many stories that after the Mass, when they go out of the church, they will see now the dancing sun. Of course, others yeah. are, others, Sister Umar is skeptical, di ba? Murag mo yeah. sila. Oh, dancing sun, basic imagination lang na ninyo, di ba? Nakadungog na magkod ko, Ana, sa mga uban. But uh, if you are a devotee of the Divine Mercy, you will discern and you will know it's really the work of the Lord. Now, sometimes it has a rainbow pa, Sister Ima, di ba? Yeah. It has a rainbow, no? Oh. And the sun keeps on dancing as a reflection of God's... Uh, the Lord of Mercy's mm -hmm. happiness, know that we all are, we all are are with Him. We all yeah. are in Him. So <laughs> the Divine Mercy, uh, for those who don't know, the shrine is at Garing Consolation Cebu. Yeah, they started uh, as a chapel, as what Sister Ima said. Pero naanagut si iyang kasing kasing it is in her heart she wants to build. That is an inspiration given by the Lord to to lead the building of the. Of the divine mercy and i like your analogy huh that the missing link is cebu because we have one in the sun in marilao national shrine we have one in mindanao in Sal el salvador in cagayan and of course the tallest one will soon rise in cebu which is the heart we'll go later to that story uh sister ima as we welcome uh Aida back yeah <laughs> Okay, what a tremendous story, no? Sinihatag sa ato ni, ni Sister Ima, no? I remember Ims when I, niyana mag-go, I was there with Yvette and some classmates. Siyempre si Yvette, uh, she's always the one who kaladkad all of us after feeding us. Wise man na, parang kauno no sa ka, and then diretso ta dito sa garing, anak man na siya. But when we went there, dito sa Adoration Chapel, and when we went out, I think we were about five or six. Uh, all of them said, the sun, the sun, the sun. It's I look at the sun it. and I did not see it. No, so, but all of them <laughs> saw it. No, so, ako lang wala. Gayaw yaw po ka doong minga to sa little hut where the sister's residence is. Diba na mga payag payag dito where you can sit down. O padong mi dito. Nagsigi ko gayaw yaw la in lagi juka lord. Sila nakakita ako, wala ko lagi ko kakita. But anyway, sige lang, kung dili ko nimo pakiton, okay lang naman sa ako. So, this this um, internal uh, manifestations, I think that's what you call it. No? It's some manifestation in the heart or visual. Mm -hmm. a really a gift na ginapili ko na ni Lord. Eh, Kinsa yun pa tanaw, no? But I know during the, o oh, oh, during Congress and during the Feast of Mercy, usually, anak yun siya magpakita o uh, mas tremendous na crowd, no? And then, uh, you, you know, your story is just really very simple but strikes to the heart, no? Kanina, when you were also telling me, you went to El Salvador, you went to, ano, sige, pupagingon sa likod. Lain lagi ka, Lord, sila, sige, sila, biyahe. Ako, di ako, di risa, ako, lingkuranan kada Wednesday. Ano sa ka ko makabiyay po na Divine Mercy? Kayaw yaw na po ko, pero kiba ako nasa Lord, yaw yaw na dyan ko pa. Makatuwa na dyan, Pastor Aida, kay even also to Malaysia. Yata nga na niya ang tumba. It will come in accordance to His will, but I hate to stop for a while. Let's take a break. 
It's 3.45 uh, in the afternoon. Mark, can we show the video? Father Prospero Tenorio, National Coordinator of the Divine Mercy Philippines and Secretary General of Wacom Asia said, There are nine elements of the Divine Mercy devotion. The Feast of the Divine Mercy, the Image, the Chaplet, the Novena, and the Hour of Great Mercy. Trust and Mercy, the Eucharist, Confession, and Proclamation of Mercy in our own families. As devotees, our mission is anchored on these elements. More importantly, we need to proclaim God's mercy to the whole world and make mercy and trust as part of our spirituality as we do works of mercy in our daily life. What is your mission as a Divine Mercy devotee? This is Georgie Laganbian, just a minute with the Divine Mercy. Divine Mercy Philippines, Archdiocese of Davao. So what is our mission with the Divine Mercy? That's quite a big question, big not just for the three of us, but for all the devotees listening and those who are not even listening, no? Uh, because the mission is individually given. You we might be part of the organization, but ako, I believe that you have, all of us has a part, no? Si George is a part in, in Davao, si Ima sa Cebu, Ako rin anchoring somewhere in Manila, but all of us will be joined together into that one, one big mission. No, so mm -hmm. we'd like to hear more from you, Ima. There's still lots of time, so back to you, Georgie and Ima. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ida. That's very true. No, we all have our mission, and we all have our own uh, part in the in the body of Christ. No, we all have our individual part, Ima. Can you tell me what why did what is your mission as uh, an apostolate of the divine mercy and as lay coordinator because remember i think you are a very special person you're a very special devotee the divine mercy since you were like 17 years old you were born in 1962 he followed you all the way from Tacloba to Bacolod and you met our friend no Virgie Virgie Lopo from Bacolod who will also be our guest in the future and you met my mom imagine yeah. <laughs> and father Boy. Chris called you I know father yeah. Chris is a friend of mine he called you specially to be there just four of you to be there in Wacom and all of these uh congresses of mercy I'm sure by now, Sister Ima, you are still young. If you were born in 1962, uh, still many, many years of service to the Divine Mercy. What do you think is your most important mission? Uh, Karun, the most important mission, kato, the missing link of Jesus is the heart, which is the shrine of the Divine Mercy. No, uh, We just uh, celebrated our eight-year anniversary last uh, ju june 19 when we arrived in that place no uh the official you see bishop palma and that's the uh uh beginning of the construction no sa kay nagpabili lang yung naglungag din ha for five years no pero wala yun na namo unsaon man ni lord and the lord sent us engineers mo ginakaroon ang mission dako nga mission ingon da yun si father lucas Skeptical kayo, kay may ngunda yun. Natay kwarta. <laughs> kay Mama Jude, kwarta man yun. And this project, mo to ingon si Father Tonorio nga, pagpaminaw na ako ni Father Pros, na ingon siya nga, daghan kayong opposition. Opposition of the, nga asa na silang kwarta, marutan nagdukduk sa bato, sa atong ulo. Then, we prayed for eight years, kinsa ang mubigin. So, Lord, ingon mi Lord, kini lang yun. Ingon man siya. Then, in dreams na to, baka nang sa 3 o'clock, ingon din siya. Murakag, if the Lord want you something, di ito ka pa, pa tulgun, niya, mag-chaplet ka, niya, mura mong nag-office ba? Nag-office, abi ni mo, na, nakatugag balik, then siya na, ang nag, na, iyahan na tanan, I will send you people to help you. Oh, Lord, sa una lang pag-help ni Lord, true enough, Karon siguro kay pandemic na ay usa ka giver give us 3 million to start the project and 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 ningon mi hala unya 
Ang usa pa gyud ka challenge atong balikon, di ba na ato it cross ingon si Father Brian Brigley, ang si Father Brian is the one in charge of TWG Technical Working Group. Ni ingon siya nga sis, na ko 650,000 from the anonymous will ingon ni Bishop magbuhat ta og 500 years nga cross kay si Bugot ang kuan sa Christianity niya. That's the tallest nga 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 kuan kanang kanang cross imi asa ta kwarta father siya naralagi mo hatag so through enough eh, na human ra through kanang sa faith ra gyud ang ang ato ang trust no kanang ingon ni Jesus Jesus I trust in you Lord Lord amo ingon sa God Lord imuha nang trabaho dali nga dito and he put up engineer o tadoy kanang mga engineers na nga banggiitan unya ang akong husband consultant maninako kay maminaw ra gyud kuniya kay ako la lang ikuha ninyo nga my husband is the one building the third bridge <laughs> si in charge ana ba karon ba ko maminaw ko sa iyang kun ay mo pataka ha kay daba sin sayop na ang ang construction and true enough god sent us nga uh, true engineer hill nga si ay nagtan-aw nga huy kung, kung kami ato amuwa ra man to kuanay na na ninyo tabuni nya dayon na, na Ay wa dita kay bao man ma kuan ra gyud so Jesus iya ha gyud ning trabaho kay gipadalhan ta niya unya the one who who katos ay easy ko nakaanha mo sa kanang building si ang Dorus ang Dorus pag gyud mo construct ingon dem ingon dayon sa gahapon wag nag meeting man mi ingon si Padre Brian si Sima andama imong kwarta pila imong kwarta di ko 3 million man ni kapin ni Uy, pagku, pag sige na, sige na, kanang sugod na ta, ingon na siya. Kanang, ang term niya, dili ka ni kutubra ni Dinhiha, di kalikakaon, di pa kano ni mo macho ang 3 million kay the project will have, ang mga lagi na, mga katawa ta ba nga, nga murat, mga, mga tao nga magtanaw, asa ka na sila kwarta, but there is nothing impossible and trusting the Lord. Mga lagi ni, kay ingon ko si Jesus, I put the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. Ang imuhang pagkuhan pag, ng yun is trust. The essence of the divine mercy is Jesus good on signature. Put my signature. Jesus, I trust in you. So, kung mo ingon ko, kung akong faith, we can build. Anya, ang uban, dili, dili ang susun, sa own ka na niya. Then, kung mo ingon ko, I can jump to the bridge with the trust in the Lord nga Buhi gihapon ko, I can swim the ocean, the ocean of mercy. Mauna ni Karun, ingaw lagi akong banaw, ah, masakit yung ulo. Ingaw lagi ko, di man yung masakit akong ulo. Then, the seven district, managingo ni, ni Kuan, gihatag akong giangkon, sis, di akong, akong giangkon, eh, mauna yun ding, gi Kuan, seven district, District 1, kumpos ni ni sa Cebu, kanang Metro Cebu, kanin 1. Pila po ni sila kabuok, almost 40 kaparisis. Now, one, man tawag yun ni mo si Tadjuji, usara na diri ka district ang imuhang <laughs> kanang, kanang giandol si Tadjuji. Ang um, kumang gi tagaan ang, ang, ang kada district. Ningun ko, Lord, send me leaders. Kay you have, as a leader, you have to multiply Kay kun magsi kun on sorry ko mamatay ta simba ko kun kuhao na ta ni Lord kun wala wala na ta labi na sa covid karon kinsa pa may mo trabaho so that, sa district 1 so naatay Elizabeth Parado from Manila so na na, na, na puyo dire so siya ani nya karon in town na covid nya district 2 katong kan ang, ang district 2 og 3 gi angko ni Dominic Kibido gi ang mga retiree ba nga nag nagkuan so na share na ang imong trabaho district 3 the son of kanang Stanley Villavicencio junior so ang district 4 so naasa tay leader sa una nga yang mama namatay so usa sad to siya ka leader so ang in anak sad karon so mga mga batan na bay kuay salamat mga batan on mga 40 30 ka na edad so Karon siya ang ni lead sa kuanya. Imagine District 3, uh, District 4, dito na na Barili, Dumanho, kung mapabamilyar ka, Sir Aida, layo na kayo ba? So, 
dito na nas hantod sa Santander no si Cleo Dolyuso district 5 retired teacher so mam na nabiha to lidok sus grabe lagi adto naman sa buwan sus daghan kaayo ang mga kuan moabot na sa Boylan tuburan kanang al, kanang ana na gitagaan ta sa Ginoo ang district 7 karon ang whole family na covid ni prayers lang yun na namo ang among gi-offer ni Jima o mer kanang J Montero sila sa midinhi and all this bikarit na may bikarit hatag na sad ang paghatag na sad sa pare so atong gihimo ni siya nga gaan para kita kung gitagaan man putang bishop palma sa una no squatter gyud mi asa mi mag magkuan mag mag office wala may office and God is true nga kun si imong trust nga na nagyud tay office karon diha sa cathedral so mao na kanang Ang journey is so kuan gyud kaayo nya. Daana tay sa mid, sa media si magpapalis di na to manganlan tanan pero gihatag ang mga retiree nga mga tao para to help nga magaan kay ingon san si Jesus ay kamo ningon siya ni Faustina kamo ang 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 ingon si Faustina after my death on sa mani Lord so kita karon ang mga missionaries sa apostles of the divine mercy nga si, si Faustina king ni Jesus and we will say that this devotion is not our devotion no this devotion the divine mercy is a way of life as ingoni kanang father cross ug atong puy-an and Jesus is the one devoting to you this is the unique devotion kay ang uban nga devotion si get dictate man sa mga santos kini jesus is the one and he said the divine mercy devotion is the last and final devotion of the end times which is mauna ni no nya ang si mama mary gina nata follow the footsteps of my son so kamao na ni at ato kun mana ingon si padre cross abc of mercy ask for mercy be merciful uh, no, yeah, kanang kuan, kanang complete trust. Among among nang gipunan karon sa G. D, A, B, C, D, E. Do not delay and abandon. Among gipunan ay kay A, B, C, D na na naiduga, sister Ima. A, B, C, D, E. Ako yun na for the pros, butang ni for the pros na. Do not delay and evangelize. Kay this is the home enthronement karon among gipangusgan sa kada kanangkuan there is conversion katung mga tao nga walay confession for pila ka years na na siya la din ha muna nagamalik sa Ginoo and ang kanang mga ang mga broken relationship sa mga asawa labi na karon nga ang cellphone ang mga multimedia daghan na kay nag mga 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 pokos-pokos din ha nga dili ta na maka kuan that's ga mama na karon ga ma, ang mga bata ba ma, kalimot na lang ta nga ang cellphone na adin ha din ana to mahikutar so mao na na da, ta, da, kun kuan ba ma na naaman jud ta koy guy diri no kay sister malo kay amo mo i eh, kuan man na namo sa ang ako ang story ba ibutang sa katong website ingon sa eh, guide na ni mo kana sis ingon di gud di ay when the ay, ay, ako, before ko ni come in we do that Three o'clock prayer, ko mag three o'clock prayer ta, daan o mag chaplet para kay nagkurug ba yak ko? Guapo ba yak? Guapo ba yak sister Ima? No, every minute of your life, I, as I have seen it and your journey, is really a story of true and strong trust in the Lord. Imagine, ikaw ang get. Imagine she gave, he gave you our Lord of Mercy, gave you the big responsibility of ensuring that the shrine in Cebu, the heart, will really happen. And that is not an easy job. And that, you, you see, it. you only have, you have no land, wala kay lote, you went to this mayor, ex-mayor, nakabalukuana, you only have 100,000, which cannot even buy, siguro, uh, it's, it's just a few square meters, you know, <laughs> and, you know? but because... Mm -hmm. Because of your strong faith and look, he gave you the land. Then you were able to build the cross, the Centennial Cross, which is the tallest now in the country. 
with really nothing, di ba? Nothing, nothing but someone gave to you. You know, building the shrine cost millions of pesos, di ba? Ingon si Father Pros, ang ilang shrine sa Bulacan was around 120 million pesos. Mm. Yeah, karon na akay 3 million, di ba? Murang, kung, kung wala yung kay pagtuo, Sister Ima, may ngon ko kasi ginoo, murang layo lang may ganang 3 million sa 120 million, or even more, kay tumot, mas taas man ang inyo, mas taas ang atong statue. But because of your great faith and your trust, you can see it happens every day and it's really total surrender. And the Lord just puts everything in front of you. No, no doubt, no doubt, no, no iota of doubt at all. What, what a life of faith and trust. And Sister Ima, that's not so easy. That's not very easy. Kaya ako, nakakita doon kong mga deboto na to. Sama sa itong istorya, Sister Ima, nga, mag-ingon nga, COVID man ron, oy, dili man may ka-proclaim, dili lang may sa among balay. Murag na wat anag yung kinabuhi, no? Murag na wat anag kinabuhi. Muna ang ginayon ako sila, labi na karong COVID, gusto si Ginoo, i- 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 O sa tawag ni mo na si Sir, ipagarbo, may giingong ka niya, eh, sa tayo mong bisaya, guwapo kayo ito eh. Ayaw, <laughs> ipagarbo, ipa, ipaabot sa kanaghanan, no? ang iyang uh, kaluoy. Ang tama yung sabi mo, you are very right. Divine mercy is the ultimate devotion of every one. No? Nakatawa ko si Imo Ingo, si Sir Imo, bang uh, na-touch ka atong chaplet tungod sa it's a prayer for the sick and the dying. Uh, yes, it's a it's a best prayer for the sick and the dying because it's a prayer for mercy, di ba? O nag-iigod si Ginoo. If you say the chocolate, when you die, when you die, I will come to you as a Lord of mercy. Oh, Not I have as to a Lord. You something. First, the gates of mercy, no? Kabalo biya ka ng gates of mercy. Kaya murag, ingon niyo mo, sail sa langit. Ala, tanan, tanan, sunod. Lain nga po itong gates of justice. <laughs> Kung sa kwan po, murang mas strict ito. Murang mas strict ito. Strict ito tayo itong gates of, of justice, di ba? So, um, I, I am touched by your by your story and the faith continues. Kay tungod, uh, kanawa, mga engineer, gipadala sa inyo. Si Palafox, pag yun, nabilib yun ko sa inyo because Palafox is a very well-known, respected uh, urban planner in the country. No? Oh. Ani, dili it's a miracle. Tum, tum, dili. Itawag sister Ima. Kaya usab niyo to contact. Itawag niyo owning offer lang siya or what? What happened? The one who kanang katung architect nga si Stephen Raluta, the one who kanang nakuwan man mi nagpadesign mi ba sa mga duly graduate nga nga architect. So, ah uh, si Engineer Raluta ngano mao kining Sa ginoo yun, ba? Si Engineer Stephen Raluta, niya, iya pong papa, si Ray Raluta, o ang, ang si Bibi Gakasan, the one nga sila yung response as first as architect, mo'y nakadaog sa design. So, this is a Bible story nga, nga, nga design. Then, two years or three years after, he was hired by Fala Fuchs. So, may mamila. Di pa doon ta ni Falafox kay gusto gyud ni Bishop Palma how I wish nga mo kuan mo handle ani nga project si Falafox kay si Falafox baya ang nag naghimo sa kagayan ingon ni mi wala oy imposible gud ana kanang kanang bisya poy so karon kay si si Stephen Raluta mao may gihatag nga mao may gi-assign og the hire ni para Falafox so, na doon mi so, oh, siya mo, ingon na mo, atong 2019, ingon mi kanang, kung saan man ni Nato, before sa pandemic ba? Sus, na anato, na, si Falafox, ningan ni Hidjud, na meet up na mo, two times, ug naingon siya, imbis iyang pangayo, 8 million, na himo na lang, 5 million, <laughs> kay gihatag niya, gidonate niya ba? That's hantud mahuman, ang, ang divine mercy, nga shrine, unya package na na, unya, Ako ka ingon si Ter Joji nga ginoo jud ni ang kuan din hi kay ina nga no uh, before kini mao gyud ni bibid pa kay ni nya this is the second life of my husband kay ina nga no my husband 
was wala gyud sign nga unsa ni we have to be have a meeting with, para sa consultor para na gyud ang kuno na gyud sa arts diocese August 12 so August 11 maron timing lang August 12 2019 my husband was diagnosed to be magkabids in kung ko lord ala lord gala ini mo lord oy imo ko pa ko ano no divine mercy nya imo ha manilabtan akong husband nya unsa una lang ni ron mao na ko ang as a child like ba so ningon ko wala i luha wala i ko an wala i kakulba mao ko an pagingon ningon ng husband wala naman mi ko na sa emergency room ningon naman kinahanglan i cabbage ha unsa man ang cabbage do so ingon na ko mangod I have um, brother, man, doctor, ikaw man ang ayaw ka, kakuan, ha? Kanang, kanang i-bypass. Ingong ko, ha? Unya, mauto, ikaw ko, chaplet lang yun. Ani, Lord, chaplet. Ayun ko, Lord, i-bypass ni mo 12. Na ako yung meeting sa 13, sa sa Archbishop. Kung saan man, ha, Lord, magikan pa sa 12, di gila ni mo biyaan. Sus, so, i-arin sa regyon niya, tanan, Sir Juji. Ingong si Lord, Lord, tell me, Ikaw, ayaw. Unsa naman, ang imong giingon, trust. Walay mahitabo sa imong bana. And this miracle happened na ginitanan. We only, di ba, kung bypass, mo stayed yung ka 30 days, we only stayed 16 days. Kay all is well good. Naingon yung ko nga, Lord, imo na day ko gigitik. Mau na ingon ba nga, gitik-gitik kung tikaw, kung asa yun, magpaubos ang ka o mohambul last light as a child nga maoy ang gusto ni Paustina tingin mo man si Jesus bisan asa ka tago muundang kaning trabaho ah pangitaon gitikaw even asa ka kay I can see you and mauna katuingon ni, ni Juan ang primero good as a leader you have to change your heart you have to change your heart. Katong gi-discuss ni Father Kunoyo, alam mo ka ito, hatred, anger, ang, ang resentment, and all. Ibo d'yo na ang tipidity. Kinahanglan, paspasan, kay karun, sa COVID karun, sus, ako diri, huwag to, oh, COVID dito, COVID diri. Kung yan, ingon ko, Lord, ingon na ingon man siya, I will shield your, sa entire life. Proclaiming in my, my mercy, that's diary 2075. So, pui ana to, it's a way of life. And he said to me one time, service is forgetting oneself. Ayaw tan awa kung unsa ka. Ayaw tan awa ang imong status sa life. You have to go down to the level and mauni ang ato ang gitrabaho karun. Ang imong mga, mga, kanang, mga leaders, mga kwan, ikaw pakasabaan lagi. Ang imong mga evangelite, ikaw pa kasabang, buwan mo, sabak na sila, ako mang tayo presidente. <laughs> Magkalimot. Ingo na niya, ako, man na mo. Ingo na siya, man na, ingo na siya. Ingo na niya mga bata, and my children know my traits. Ingo na siya, mama ba, sopo lang na siya guha ang tao niya. Nga anagali ang tao, no? Ihag! Ang samas, mama, <laughs> katawan ko nila. And Thank that's you very much. It was a wonderful, uh, <laughs> scary <laughs> bitawin. <laughs> Wonderful sharing of love and faith and childlike confidence came out. That was really uh, a message of to us of Saint Faustina. The Lord always likes. The Lord always asks us for childlike confidence, trust without any conditions, and trust is the vessel of God's mercy. That is why. Uh, Sister Ima's life has been full of blessings, both her personal life, her family life, and of course, her life as a lay coordinator of the Divine Mercy uh, Apostolate in the Archdiocese of Cebu. She is a perfect example of one who has totally surrendered herself to the Lord. And she has seen the endless possibilities, all the impossible because of her faith and her trust, became simple it just became possible and it happened and all the lord is asking from her is trust sister ima wala nagitay oras no okay. <laughs> 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 quickly sister ima what will be your 
closing message or inspiring message to people, to our devotees, and as well as to our our audience, our listeners. So, dili lang kita ma ma magduha duha sa ato ang mission, no? Kanya, if you look back sa past or sa future, wala kita mahimo. Leave what is today, and today, na ay tomorrow, but today is the day kung yah di niya kaka mata, no labas sa COVID. So make sure kita nga we focus our eyes to the Lord, the Divine Mercy, and embrace the race, no. The vessel, the image of the Divine Mercy is not an ordinary image. The vessel is there is trust. So mao lang yun na ang ato ang kwa non trust and and mao yun one daily tamahuman sa ato ang mga sharing niya. I'm so thankful nga inyong hakong invite niya. May ngon na sila kung sao ang kada niya paghuman kasi ibig na siya mahuman, no? Ingon kani lang yun ni ang ako ang last, no? Ka Ah, diary five seventy. Your assignment and duty here on earth is to beg for for mercy for the entire world. So sa tibuok kalibutan, beg for mercy. Dili lang para imo an maon ako ng gipuy an strategy. Wala na ako gipangayu sa ako ng kinabuhi. Ang ako ng gipangayu ang na ang uban mausab sa ilahang mga kinaiya sa ilahang First, Juan, labi na karun nga there is hope and mercy with the divine mercy. Thank you, Kaister. I know to mga kita tata ani after sa pandemic. Of course, thank you. Salamat ka ayo, ah, Sister Ima. Salamat ka ayo, Sister Ima. Ug atong mga our brothers and sisters, ah, devotees who are members of the Apostolate of the Divine Mercy in Cebu. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. You have seen and you have listened to the very simple story of faith and trust that our sister, our sister Ima, uh, had exhibited no, all the way from Cebu. And this has resulted to tremendous miracles in her, and miracles and blessings in her life. And uh, a reflection of this is that soon they will have their 144 uh, Fit Divine Mercy statue, which is the tallest in the Philippines and the tallest also in the world. And this will not, this could not have happened even during the first stage without the faith and trust of our sister Ima and all of her devotees and followers and members in Cebu. Thank you, Sister Ima, for blessing us you. with your story. It was a grace filled afternoon. On a personal note, salamat kay Sister Ima si imong guidance sa ako bilang late coordinator dere sa Davao. God has really met our paths cross because I really need your guidance also in running the arts diocese and the apostolate in Davao. Thank you very much, Sister Ima, and to Reverend Father Lucas. Thank you very much, Monsignor Quintanar Diaz, and to Monsignor Quintanar. Salamat kaayo and to our spiritual director, Reverend Father Arroyo, and of course our national coordinator and our supporter always, Reverend Father Prospero Tenorio. So thank you and I. Yes, Ima, magkita rata sa Cebu pohon. Stay safe always. Ask the Divine Mercy to cover all of us. Ang ato mga subuan ng pariente, amiga, amigo. Now, unta the divine mercy will be upon Cebu and the entire Philippines, and this is indeed the devotion that is really needed now. Without our trust in Him, His mercy will not be overflowing. So our last word should always be, "Jesus, I trust in You." Bye, everyone. See you next Wednesday. And daghang salamat. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. We'll see each other. Bye.
Proceeding was a paid program. The views and opinions expressed do not reflect those of Talk Live Channel.